What is going on everyone? I'm Adriano and this video is about how to successfully import the Python pandas library into a Lambda function in AWS. Now we're going to be doing this through the console. Now unfortunately right off the bat if I create a Lambda function that imports pandas I write some code and I give that a run. Unfortunately we're going to get an error message saying unable to import module Lambda function no module named pandas. So right off the bat pandas is not installed in our Lambda function and we're going to have to do a little bit of work to get this to run. So we're going to be doing this walkthrough in Python 3.7. All right, so the first step is we're going to have to go and grab the wheel file for the version of pandas that we want to install. So because we're doing this in Python 3.7, we're going to want to make sure the version is CP 3.7. All right, and we're going to be looking for the many Linux AD6 underscore 64. Now you might be saying, Adriano, you're in a Windows machine. Why are you grabbing the Linux file? Well, Lambda runs in a Linux environment, so we want to make sure we have the correct wheel file for that and not my local desktop. So we're just going to go ahead and download this file to our desktop. Great. So that's one of two wheel files we're going to need. The second wheel file, we're going to grab it from the PYTZ library, and we're going to grab the none-any.wheel file. So we're just going to download that as well. Great, so when your files are done, you can navigate to the folder that you downloaded them to, and what you're going to see is two wheel files. Now what we're going to have to do is unpack or unzip these files. Unfortunately, because it's a wheel file, I can't just right click and hit unzip. Unlike a, a zip file you can see here, I can now extract these files. So we're going to be using the wheel library to unpack these wheel files, and we can run this in command line, so if you open up your command line, First you want to make sure that wheel is installed, so if you don't have it installed, it is just pip install wheel. Now I'm assuming you already have Python installed, if not you're going to have to install it so you can run this wheel package. And when that successfully installs, if you don't have it, all you have to do is run wheel unpack and the full name of the wheel file that you want to unpack. So we're going to be unpacking both of them, so I'm just going to highlight grab the entire name of it, including the extension, and paste it in the command line. And now you remember, you want to be able to run this directly from where you downloaded those files. So I just navigated to the folder where I moved them over to. And now I'm just going to run that command, and it's going to say unpacking. We're going to give that a second to unpack. Great, so if we go back to our folder, we'll now see this pandas 1.32 folder, which will have two subfolders in it. Now we're going to unpack the other file, so I'm just going to highlight, grab the entire file, and do the same thing here. So wheel unpack and paste that wheel file. Awesome. So now that it unpacked, I have two subdirectories that have been created from unpacking them. So the next step now is to create a new folder, and we're going to call it Python. And we're going to go and grab the two files within the pandas directory and paste that in. And then we're also going to go and grab the two files from the PYTZ folder, copy those and paste it into our Python folder as well. Great, so now what we're going to do is zip that Python folder so we can upload it as a Lambda layer, so we can use it in our Lambda function. So I'm going to right click on that folder. I'm going to go to Add to Archive. I believe I'm using WinRAR to do this. Make sure it is a zip. And I'm going to hit OK. So we're going to have now a new Python zip folder when this finishes. All right, awesome. So now that we have this file here, what we're going to be doing is going back to our Lambda function. And within the console, we're going to hit the three lines over here. We're going to go to layers. And now we're going to create a new layer. So I'm going to call this pandas. And you can add a description. So call this pandas upload files. And now it's going to be a zip. And now we're going to go to grab that file that we just zipped. And now you want to make sure that it is Python 3.7. Remember, I did this in Python 3.7, so we want it to match that Python version. And now we're going to hit Create. 
All right, awesome. So we've successfully created that layer and now we are ready to use this layer to link it to our Lambda function. So we're gonna go to that function that we want to run pandas in and we're gonna navigate down to our layer. So see, there's no layers right now. So this isn't gonna work just yet. I gotta add a new layer. And now I'm gonna choose custom layers. Now we should find that pandas uploaded layer that we just created, pick the correct version and hit add. Right, so we created that custom layer and now appears to be linked. Um, this isn't gonna work, but we've now cleared that import, fail to import pandas message. So if I run a test, we're gonna see unable to import required dependencies numpy. So that's okay, this one's easier to solve. We don't need to create a custom layer. All we have to do is go back down to layers. I'm gonna hit add a layer. Now we can use an AWS layer and we're just gonna use the AWS Lambda Python SciPy one. We can select the latest version and hit add. And that's it. Now we should see two Lambda layers that are linked to our function that we're gonna run pandas in. And now if everything worked as expected, this should work. And we should now see that we get a message saying pandas successfully imported, good job. And there we go. We got our message saying pandas successfully loaded and now we're ready to go and start building out our Lambda function leveraging pandas. So I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to get pandas working in a Lambda function. Thanks so much for watching and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please consider subscribing if you want to support me. See you next time.